my day start of a whole totally when I wake up. First thing I do is I'm making my own coffee or tea. Go straight to work. I work on the night shift. Usually I start very early morning, around one o'clock. My name is Hugh. I'm a baker. Usually my shift takes around eight hours. We turn on the radio at work. After that, I scale up all the flour, mix the flour, and make the bread. Put in the prover. And back it up. I came to Melbourne since 2009 on a uh, student visa. I study baking and pastry at Homeland Tap. Before that, I was a manager of my family owned business in Vietnam. My sister told me that Australia is a very good country for living because it highly developed uh, medicine and education. I choose study baking because the first, I love it. The second is, it can help me to become an Australian citizen. So I had to try hard to achieve my target. At that time, I had to study and work part-time at the bakeries to cover all my living expenses and earn more experience. It wasn't easy, but thanks to that, I could find a sponsor right after I finished my study. I work for a bakery in regional area. I was granted a permanent resident then citizenship. Now I'm working as head baker at the bakery in Bentley East. Baker is a very hard job. You should have a uh, very good calculation skill and should have a good health to do a lot of heavy job quickly. And you should have your own procedures to make things run well. To make sure that your products will be delivered to customer early in the morning. And um, one more thing, you should make your bread look beautiful. I can make full range of bread, more than 50 types of bread, like ciabatta, baguette, salzo, and all the white roll. Usually my first product come out after three hours. It's uh, around half time, like three or four hours first. I have to take a short break, around ten minutes, to make another coffee to wear me up. Normally, first customer came to the shop to get a coffee and all rolls around six o'clock in the morning. Like people told me they pay work at night shift as a baker. But for me, I have nothing to hate at. I love making beautiful bread. I found my passion in this job and believe that I can have uh, the skill and ability to open my own business in the near future. I love to see customer happy and satisfied when they keep coming back to buy the bread. And my friends and relatives told me that if I still stay in Vietnam, my life is more easier than here. But I think everything has a price. I start from the beginning here, so 
So I have to try hard at that. Comfortable to live in, in Australia, so I think it's worth 